When you think of Striker in Lost Ark Online, you probably think of two things. Consistent single target damage per second and really, really good CC. What you probably don't think is the ability to absolutely speed grind chaos dungeons. But with today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the setup that I use to do just that. Welcome to the Striker Chaos Dungeon build. Alright guys, so welcome to Trixion where I'm going to be able to show you guys the build that I have been using to run my striker in Chaos Dungeons. Now the striker is actually just an alt. I wanted to make him just to try him out. He's been super cool, really really liking him, but his best skills and the ones most people know about, they tend to use smaller AoEs, but I wanted something that could basically just speed grind Chaos Dungeons, Abyssal Dungeons, Cube, you know, big hordes of monster dungeons. And this is the build. I sort of found one online, but then tweaked a whole bunch of stuff in it to kind of make it my own. And this is what we're running. So for the first skill we're going to be running here, guys, is we have Swift Wind Kick all the way up at skill level 10. We're running Fire Round Kick, Wide Hit, and Extreme Training. Now, you could get the extra crit rate from the Lightning, but I find the burn damage is very, very good, especially since this is one of your main AoE abilities, okay? If you've ever played Berserker before and you know what Whirlwind is, this is basically your whirlwind as a striker. Um, it's literally basically the same ability. <laughs> let's be let's be straight up. Let's call a spade a spade here. It's basically the same thing. But setting them on fire seems to do a little bit more damage than the crit. I'm sure if you could get 100% crit and this helped you get that, it would might be a little bit better. But as of right now, I'm using that one. Now, the attack speed and the lower cooldown is pretty good. Um, you really don't need the cooldown in chaos dungeons though because you get your cooldowns refreshed like every time you kill an elite monster so the cooldowns kind of useless and while the attack speeds okay just having a bigger aoe get more of the mobs burning get more of the mobs killed uh quite a bit better and then you have your your two tripods at the end here you have extreme training and furious spin axis furious spin axis i really do not like um it literally changes the ability from being like whirlwind to being this single like boom that's all it does um, and I'm really not a fan of that. I don't I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me But I find the extreme training here It gives you an extra second of spinning and a full 100% increased damage right here You spin around. This is one of your best abilities. Okay, this clears massive packs of monsters um, Now your first esoteric skill spiral impact. I have this all the way up at tier 2. Once I get more skill points, I will put it into tier 3. Uh, we have wide hit for AoE radius, and we have Blessing of the Wind, so after we use it, we get attack speed 10% and move speed 10% for 4 seconds. Reason why we're using this. Um, first off, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe I'm dumb. But the absorption hit says that it pulls monsters in, and I really don't get that effect. It really doesn't feel to me like it does it. Um, and then you could use it to gain an esoteric bubble, but you're spending one. So I figured you can never have enough move speed, especially in chaos dungeons. And this skill is almost more of just a filler skill. It's just a single big punch does pretty good damage. Um, it's kind of weird though, because we have another ability we'll talk about later, which is this one. It's slightly slower, but it does like triple the damage and it doesn't cost any esoteric orbs. So I don't know, but this one was just basically a filler ability. You could realistically replace this with any of the other skills that you really want to put it in. Um, I just wanted to run an extra esoteric. This one only takes up one orb. You know, does pretty good damage. Gives me attack speed and move speed. Totally fine. Uh, next one, Lightning Whisper. Big zap. Big zap here. Um, very simple. Esoteric extortion. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, if you're running solo, like I tend to do in Chaos Dungeons, esoteric extortion gives you esoteric meter. However, if you are running in a party, some people like to do their chaos dungeons in parties. Not talking, not not saying a word. That's totally up to you. Take this one here. Attack speed for all party members, 8% within 24 meters. Give your party more attack speed. Nobody complains about more attack speed, okay? Attack speed is a super cool stat. Works really fun. Makes the game smoother. Run that if you're running with players. If you're running by yourself, which I tend to do, Esoteric Extortion. Uh, next up, Berserk Circle. This is another one of your big damage abilities. Uh, I run it with Wide Hit, Absorption, and Glacial Explosion. That's this ability here. Big boom, big explosion, and then a second explosion, which is delayed a little bit after the first. Um, Berserk Circle. So, again, bigger AoE radius. It's a Chaos Dungeon. There's tons of mobs everywhere. 
bigger AoEs, more monsters killed, quicker Chaos Dungeon clears. Uh, you could get the minus 50% Esoteric meter gain, but seeing as how both of the engravings that you can run on Striker uh, really rely on you having Esoteric meter, it doesn't seem worth it to me, um, especially since it does crazy damage anyway. Um, and then the lower MP cost, I mean, it's fine, but I'd rather just have more AoE. For your second one, uh, I don't like any of these. I mean, I guess push immune foes would be okay, but this is mainly a uh, like a weak mob clear, not really a boss clear. Um, again, if you this is not a guardian raid build, this is a chaos dungeon cube, uh, abyssal dungeon build. You don't really need to worry about the single target damage. You're gonna have a bunch of people running with you, or you're just gonna be power farming. Uh, so I went absorption hit, pulls all the mobs in, gathers them all up in a nice tight little circle that we can just blow them up with. And then out of these two. <coughs> Volcanic Eruption is totally fine. After attacking the ground, the explosion is delayed, causing a bigger explosion. Increases by 100%. Um, this basically just makes you do 100% more damage. This one makes you do 40% more damage, but also freezes all the mobs. Uh, but then you have another explosion afterwards. Um, I've tried them both. They both do about the same damage, but I figured if they're going to do around the same damage, why not take the one with the CC? Uh, it does add six seconds to the cooldown, but the cooldown in general is fairly short, um, especially because, again, Chaos Dungeons, your cooldowns are resetting all the time. You really don't need uh, cooldown reduction, so don't worry about that. Next one, Phoenix Advent. This is your main mobility skill. Big jump, does some good damage. Um, I actually just have it straight at level 1. You could probably dump more points into this if you want. Maybe get a bigger AoE. Um, even go down into these, I guess, if you wanted. This one can give you another 70% movement, which would be really good for mo mobility. But uh, I only have 264 skill points, so I don't have any extra points in that. Uh, the next skill is Bad Boy here. here. Moon Flash Kick. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a tickle in my throat today. Kick Forwards and Uppercut. Super good skill, does tons of damage, but most importantly, gives you a ton of Esoteric Meter. And not only does it normally give you a ton of Esoteric Meter, now you have White Flame as well. Uh, makes it cost 25% more MP, but gives you 50% more esoteric meter. This basically gives you a full ball if you hit, or a full orb ball, whatever it is. Basically gives you a whole bunch of that if you hit it. Uh, love this ability, low cooldown, really good. Offers CC, stagger, everything you need. Uh, you can make it so you gain more distance or does more damage to a single foe. But again, I went light footed, bigger AoE radius. Um, big AoEs are the name of the game in Chaos Dungeons. And then out of these two, you have Fancy Footwork and you have Full Moon Kick. Um, the Fancy Footwork technically does more damage, but takes way longer. Uh, whereas Full Moon Kick is a very simple two hit. Boom, kick. Doesn't require anything else. But, I mean, if you really want to run Fancy Footwork, nothing wrong with that. Next up, Sweeping Kick. This is, for whatever reason, your second hardest hitting ability. I don't know why this does more damage than other even esoteric skills. This ability does insane damage. This will like almost one shot bosses sometimes in the chaos dungeons I'm in. It's wild. Um, as for the skill things we have on it, weak point detection. This is the one that I take um, just because I do use this skill mainly to fight bosses. Um, like the ones that I'm killing, the elites on floor two, uh, the final boss, stuff like that. I tend to use it a lot. So 30% bonus damage. Why not? Uh, you could take more esoteric meter on it if you want, but because it's only a single hit, it doesn't really generate that much to begin with. Um, and then keen footwork. <coughs> you can get some CC on it, but <coughs> why bother? It's just, it's just more CC. You don't need to CC people when you're in a chaos dungeon. It's really not required. Um, so 30% bonus damage. Now I have tried all of these out. I think I like Shadow Cleave the most. And the reason why is because when this crits, it hits like a truck, okay? Absolute monstrous damage. This one gives you increased attack speed. It says it increases the AOE radius of it as well, which is pretty nice. Um, it's just really down to preference. That one's a slightly bigger AOE. The other one has 30% uh, crit rate. I like having it crit. That's just my personal impression. I haven't really messed around with the tent shock too much, but um, it pretty much one shots mobs anyway. You don't really need the dom the DPS. And this is the most important part here. Pure excellence. Just lower your stance and gather energy at the bottom of your feet before jumping forwards and performing one extreme kick, inflicting 150% damage and knocking down foes. While gathering energy, damage received is 30%. Uh, you could probably fix that with a rune. I haven't yet. Again, this is just kind of like an alt for me. Um, but you could definitely rock this bad boy. 
this one here uh makes it into a combo ability but just the single big hit man like i don't know if i could summon like a let's summon like a named boss here and let me see if i can show you what i mean like it half hps them and if we were to use like our esoteric skill it does way more than that right like it's actually kind of crazy how much damage that single skill does uh you know what? we're just gonna kill this guy before we there we go before we continue talking here it's a really really high damage ability um i really like it fantastic and finally our main esoteric damage ability tiger emerges um i did try running uh what's the name of the other one lightning tiger strike and lightning tiger strike is also it's really fun <laughs> i i can't be i can't be tripping here guys it is definitely more fun than tiger emerges but tiger emerges does more damage um if you're out gearing what you're doing you could definitely run lightning tiger stance um tiger stance is basically just the solid forwards little max style punch that just one shots everything tons of damage super fun um but tiger emerges i can't not accept the damage okay it is the ridiculous damage so what we're running on it sturdy armor during skill use and reduce oncoming damage by 40 percent. and the main reason why you run this is it does have a pretty um a pretty long kind of wind up actually if i show you here it's a very sort of like see how you're kind of stuck in the animation for a while so taking less damage while you're in it is not bad um and i actually just personally run um i used to run iron wall on it but then i put it on the other skill but anyway um tons of damage right here create 30 percent increased darkness on foes can't go wrong with that uh again you could run single hit this is what the striker is known for but yeah, I'm not using this build in Guardian Raids, right? I'd be using more of a single target damage or stagger build. So I don't really see the need to run this one. Ring of Fire, sure. If you really want, Ring of Fire could be cool. But I mean, I like the 30% crit rate. This skill literally is like your highest damage skill. And then of course, running Ascension. This is the main reason why the skill is insane. Giant Tiger Head shoots up and attacks on the last hit, inflicting an additional 80% of base damage in a 100% wider area, okay? Massive AoE on this bad boy. Um, like I said, if you can see, if we can summon like a bunch of monsters here, let's just summon like a ton of mobs. And as you can see, we're basically just going to go dump, dump, boom, big uppercut, and it hits them multiple times in the air. That's why it's stronger, in my opinion, than if you were to take... Um, this one here, what's it, what's it called again? Lightning Tiger Strike. Lightning Tiger Strike is also, like I said, really, really cool, really fun ability. It's this big punch skill. It would one shot if I, you know, remember to put points in it and everything. But as much as I love the skill and it's so much fun to use, I can't go, I can't ignore how much damage this damn skill does, okay? Lightning Tiger Strike is insane. Does, or not Lightning Tiger Strike, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I messed up the name. Um, uh, tiger rises am i am i blind i am a tiger emerges that's it there um absolutely nutty skill ridiculous damage huge aoe absolutely fantastic um as for your engravings guys let's be honest here this is a chaos dungeon farming build you're gonna take your usual ones right um so for me personally i take death blow uh i know that most striker builds use esoteric flurry and for a dps build that's probably your better bet. Um, you're gonna wanna take that so you can spam your esoteric skills. They're your best skills. They're the hardest hitting. This gives them percent increase to damage, easily better. However, death blow, because you're mainly using your AOE abilities to grind out the mobs to build up a full gauge and then using an esoteric skill just to one shot a boss or an elite, I find death blow is the one that I use a lot more. Um, it's also really expensive on NA, by the way, if you're on North America and you have skill books around, sell them, man, sell them cheap. I could <laughs> really use some death blow, but yeah, you could definitely take death blow here. Uh, when it's all the way up, you get an extra esoteric orb and then you can absorb all four of them for 35% damage per orb, basically allowing you just to one shot the bosses speed through really, really fast. Um, as for the other ones, I don't really think grudge is that worth it if you're doing chaos dungeons, but you could definitely run things like adrenaline, for example, because you're going to be spamming skills, getting that movement speed, getting that attack power, getting that crit rate, uh, cooldown reduction, all the stuff that you need. That's really, really good. Uh, definitely a big fan of adrenaline. You could also run, where is it here? Uh, was it all that attack? No, spirit absorption. Attack and move speed. Move speed is always going to be super king inside of your chaos dungeons. You can't go wrong with walking faster. And of course, curse stall. 
get a 16% flat increase to attack power, lose out on some of your healing. But I mean, again, Chaos Dungeons, it's really not about trying to survive. You're not really going to die a lot in Chaos Dungeons, right? Like you're pretty much just running through killing stuff um, as fast as possible. So it's also a very good increase. Um, but if you guys have tried this build and you find that there's maybe an engraving that I missed out on, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment sections below. Um, but that's what I wanted to show you guys. Oh, wait, and the awakening ability. I have Nova Blast. Um, the one where you kick the other one is quite a bit better. However, this is just a simple, uh, I think I'm 302. This is a 320 alt that I use just for farming up some materials. Uh, I haven't quested them all the way up yet. I will in the future, but <clears throat> I use Nova Blast. Just because it's, I haven't grinded up yet. And let's be honest here. Oh yeah, it won't show the whole skill. Uh, this skill, it's like an absolute dumpster flying into your face of Mach 15. Insane skill, insane damage, high stagger. Uh, but it won't actually do the whole skill unless you hit a monster. Um, I, you know what? I'll just, you know what? I'll show you guys. I'll show you the legend of this skill. Tell me that isn't awesome. Tell me that isn't awesome. And you know what else is awesome? My Twitch stream. Link down below my face there, twitch.tv slash TV. I'm playing Lost Ark all the time. Come on over, check it out, listen to some music, hang out, chat about memes. It's a grand old time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy grinding some chaos dungeons with our boy the striker here. Thank you all so much for tuning in and we will see you in the next video. Peace out.